Thank you for coming by, Tori Magoo 44. I appreciate each one of you, especially you guys who came yesterday. Thank you for your kind comments. Um, this is a video, as probably many of you know, Tom Cruise in one of his stunts actually hit a wall. And uh, a bunch of people have asked me questions about it, including a couple of journalists. So I'm just going to make a video about it because it, it, it's too long to type out. So basically, this is about Scientology, Tom Cruise, and accidents, and also what they call PTSness. What is PTSness? In their world, PTSness stands for Potential Trouble Source. Now, in Scientology, in the Scientology Truman Show, which is what I call it, because you can't see the walls when you're in there, and you can't read, you can't watch shows like Leah's last night, which was wonderful, you can't talk to anyone declared suppressive like me. So if you have any kind of an illness, anything, if you stub your toe all the way to me having epilepsy, they decided I was PTS. They kicked me out of the C organization and they said, you're a potential trouble source. And I said, you know, I was like 22 years old. I'm like, what does that mean? And they show you a definition and it's, you're basically someone who is connected to a suppressive person. This is my suppressive person declare, right? They declared me in 2000 when I escaped out. So that's my SP declare. They didn't do any of the ethics policies they're supposed to do. They just declared me stamp. That's what David Miscavige does now. And uh, true story, tons of people have been declared suppressive, tons. There's probably more declared suppressives out here and having a great time than the, the knuckleheads that are staying in and won't talk to us. I mean, hello, their first course is the communication course. And you're supposed to be able, when you finish that, to communicate with anyone freely on any subject. Most everyone I know who's declared suppressive, we can. We're fine on it. Can they? Hell no. Not at all. They won't talk to me at all. Even on the back of this, it says her only terminal. It's right here on this line right here. Her only terminal is the international justice chief via the continental justice chief. Neither will talk to me, right? So it's complete bogus. But anyway, the point is, back to Tom Cruise. Okay, he crashed into a building. He broke his ankle. Or he broke something. He broke some bones. Is he PTS? Per their technology, yes, he is. He's PTS. Who is he connected to? Well, most of us would say David Miscavige. Because he's a very, very suppressive person. But of course, Tom Cruise is in the Truman Show and believes Miscavige is a good guy. Now, people have asked, will he get in trouble? You know, because it is a bit like you're in trouble. Like you're kind of not a good person because you're PTS, right? So people literally, and this is true, they, they don't want to be near you. They don't want to be connected to you too much because you must be connected to someone really, really evil if you're PTS. So think about every illness you can think of. Diabetes, overweight, heart. Um, it, not to do, it, it, skillions of people have depression, which they don't even acknowledge because that's a psych term. So they won't even acknowledge any of the psych terms. Um, you know, just any, think of any illness, breaking a bone, tripping, you know, hurting yourself, falling, any of those things, someone will be right there going, PTS, better go to ethics. You're supposed to go to ethics. And the ethics officer sits down with you and says, who is counterintention to Scientology? What does counterintention mean? Well, intention means you're with them. You're going to clear planet Earth. Counterintention is something against them. And so they want to know who's against them because they got to get rid of them, right? And they got to cut you off from being with them. Now, for me, the only person that was against Scientology was my mom. Now, why was she against Scientology? Because they took me off my medication for epilepsy and I had grand mal seizures, massive grand mal seizures. It was awful. And as she finally said, they're going to kill you, Tori. And they did kill another person with epilepsy. They took him off his medicine. He followed their orders and he's dead. And that's 
a huge, that's happened to tons and tons of people in Scientology, a frightening number. There's, there's a, a video out, um, the unfunny story about Scientology, and you should Google that because it's, I, I'll put a link in there if I can. But anyway, will Tom Cruise get in trouble? Hell no. Tom Cruise is their golden boy. Do you know what I mean? They, I mean, yes, David will probably say, come up here and stay at gold and be with me. Or if he's here in Hollywood in his little apartment next to author services off Hollywood Boulevard. But he'll kind of pamper him and take care of him and make sure he gets the best of everything. We're going to get you the best this and the best that and blah, blah, blah. You know, but the fact is the guy should take the time to look on the Internet read the internet, and learn both sides. So he's educated about it. But will that work? Probably not. That's why Miscavige is going to take care of him because he's got to make sure old Tommy boy doesn't start looking around, right? And anything that might trigger that is something that he doesn't want. So it's that's basically, you know, if you have any kind of an illness, A, don't join Scientology. If you have any kind of an illness and you're in Scientology, get out of there because many, many, many people die getting the wrong kind of medical help or no medical help because they're, they're kind of really down on medicine, aka taking me off my medicine, that Dianetics and vitamins will fix it. No, they won't. My, that's what my mom said to me in 1972. She said, Tori, you have a, a medical condition. It needs medicine. It, it is not a psychosomatic illness. And now they have up signs all around their churches, which they're not really churches. It's a flat out business and a cult. But if you don't like the word cult, just, just plug in phony rip off business because that is what it is. That is what Scientology is, period. It's also a vampire criminal, you know, soul sucking business that is awful, but those are my opinions on it and many other people's um but it's about as far from a religion as i can possibly think of for any religion and most people too um so there you go that's what scientology is that's what p a potential trouble source is they're connected to a suppressive person and thus tom cruise crashed into a building now could it be that a, he's getting a little older and he's not as good for these, um, you know, stunts as he used to be. Probably that's all it is. But will they tag on something else? They have to. That's the tack. They have to. But they'll do it in a very gentle way for him. He'll get it much easier than a lot of people. Now, for me, they only have a couple of handlings for this thing. One is good roads, fair weather, where you just basically talk about anything bullshitty nothing about Scientology or that could cause fights. The other one is disconnection. I, in 72, figured, okay, my mom must be the suppressive person, but I'm not going to disconnect from her. So I just did good roads, fair weather with her. And that was kind of awful, but that's the way it was. Um, many, many people now with Miscavige, it's just an automatic disconnection. And that's awful. Many children have not talked to their parents, parents to their children. And I can't say it enough. If you've disconnected from anyone, pick up the phone and call them. No one is going to bite you at all. We're actually really wonderful people. We're having a really good time out here. And uh, so would you. And it's a lot more affordable than it is in Scientology. Scientology is very expensive. It really is. And even if you're not paying for it, you've got the guilt of I should pay for it or I should be doing more or I should be. It's all this awful stuff. So bail while you still can. That's my theory. That's my that's my message. And leap and the net will appear. There you go. I love you guys. Have a wonderful rest of the week and weekend. Bye-bye.